Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to talk about managing diabetes and tips for daily care. According to the American Diabetes Association, diabetes currently ranks as the number 7 leading cause of death in the United States, affecting more than 37 million people, or 11.3% of the population. The costs of medicine and hospitalization, and other health costs related to this silent killer are more than $327 billion in the United States alone. What is diabetes? Diabetes occurs when the blood glucose levels in your blood get too high. In general, blood glucose comes from the food you eat and is the main source of energy for your body to perform routine tasks. Most of the food that you eat is broken down into glucose by the body and this glucose is sent through your blood to every part of your body for energy. Insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas that plays a crucial role in regulating blood sugar levels. The main function of insulin is to facilitate the uptake of glucose from the bloodstream into cells, where it can be used for energy or stored for later use. Diabetics either do not produce enough insulin due to a malfunctioning pancreas, type 1 diabetes, or their body cells do not adequately respond to the insulin in their bloodstream, type 2 diabetes. As a result, the person's blood is flooded with glucose. Diabetes Complications Diabetes can lead to a range of complications if left uncontrolled. Diabetes can damage blood vessels and the kidneys over time and increase the risk of heart disease. High blood sugar levels can cause damage to the blood vessels in the eyes and nerves throughout the body. Diabetes can lead to poor circulation in the feet, increasing the risk of foot ulcers and infections. People with diabetes are more susceptible to skin infections, gum disease, and tooth decay. Healthy Lifestyles to Manage Diabetes Many people have lived with diabetes for a long and productive life. Some even have cured the disease. What are their secrets? An important takeaway from their success stories is that healthy lifestyles matter when dealing with diabetes. Eating healthy food, exercising regularly, and losing weight are all critical for blood sugar improvement. Through due diligence with healthy habits and medication, you can control and even reverse diabetes. Monitor blood glucose levels every day. Monitoring your blood glucose levels is essential to treat and heal diabetes. Checking your blood sugar is the only way to know whether you are making progress and how food intake, exercise, and medication are affecting your blood sugar. Importantly, blood glucose tests can reveal dangerously high or low sugar levels. Your doctor will determine how often you should check blood glucose levels. With type 2 diabetes your doctor will typically recommend checking at least once a day. The best time for monitoring your blood sugar is in the morning before you eat or drink anything. That is the most precise reading, and it gives you a clear view of what has been going on during the night. If you are taking insulin injection, recommended testing times include before and after meals, and after fasting for 8 hours or longer. Testing is done with a blood glucose meter which includes a needle that is for pricking your skin, and strips for analyzing the blood. An important part of testing is to log daily results along with your daily diet and exercise regimen. Bring this record to your doctor visits to monitor your progress of recovery. There are printable records available online to help with daily recording. Taking Medication Medications such as insulin or oral medications help to regulate blood sugar levels. It is important to take medications as prescribed by a healthcare provider and to not skip doses. Diabetic Diet Once you're a diabetic, your choice of food will directly affect the results of your diabetes management program. A diabetic diet means eating foods that are low in carbohydrates and added sugar, low in fat and sodium, high in nutrition and protein, and moderate to low in calories. Here are some general dietary recommendations. 1. Eating a variety of foods helps to ensure that your body gets all the nutrients it needs. This includes vegetables, fruits, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. 2. Choose complex carbohydrates. 
Complex carbohydrates are broken down slowly by the body and do not cause a rapid rise in blood sugar levels. Examples include whole grain bread, brown rice, quinoa, and sweet potatoes. 3. Simple carbohydrates and sugars can cause a rapid rise in blood sugar levels, so it's critical to limit foods such as candy, soda, and other sweetened beverages. 4. Healthy fats, like those found in nuts, seeds, avocados, and fatty fish, can help to improve insulin sensitivity and reduce inflammation in the body. 5. Processed and high-fat foods can contribute to weight gain and insulin resistance. Try to limit these foods in your diet. 6. Eating too much of any type of food can cause your blood sugar levels to rise, so it's important to monitor your portion sizes and eat in moderation. It's a good idea to work with a registered dietitian to create an individualized meal plan that fits your unique needs and preferences. Exercise regularly. Approximately 90% of people with type 2 diabetes are carrying extra pounds. Too much fat in the body can interfere with the function of insulin. If you are overweight, weight loss can improve your body's response to insulin and lower blood sugar. The American Diabetes Association has concluded that just losing 10 to 15 pounds will significantly lower blood sugar levels. Eating healthy foods and regular exercise are proven ways to lose weight and keep it off. Regular cardio exercise is good for cardiovascular health and helps burning calories. Getting cardio exercise at least three times per week for 20 minutes a time is an excellent way to extend stamina. You could use a cardio machine such as an elliptical, stationary bike, or a treadmill. You could also walk, jog, hike, swim, bike, or run. Strength training helps increase the body's lean muscle mass. Because it takes more energy to maintain muscle than fat, people who build muscle mass will burn a higher number of calories than people who have less muscle. Even when sedentary, more calories must be burned to support a muscular body than a body with poor muscle tone and excess fat. Toning your body at least three times a week using a stability ball, dumbbells, or a resistance band for 15 to 20 minutes at a time will have a significant impact. When you start new exercise activities or increase workout intensities, remember to track blood glucose levels before, during, and after a workout. Excessive physical activities may lead to hypoglycemia, which may cause nausea, weakness, unconsciousness and accident, and should be avoided. If you plan on beginning any exercise plans, speak with your doctor to make sure that the workout intensities are the right fit for you. Take care of your feet. High blood glucose can cause severe damage to your feet. Due to diabetes, blood vessels in the legs and feet may narrow and harden, which causes a poor flow of the blood. If you have a foot ulcer, high glucose levels can make it hard for the ulcer to heal and may contribute to developing an infection. When you have diabetes, you are prone to building up calluses in high-pressure feet areas. Diabetes can also dry and crack the skin on your feet. You can take good care of your feet by washing them with warm water and soap each day, and keeping them clean and dry. Wear comfortable shoes that do not pinch your toes and feet. Wear diabetic socks, which increase circulation in the feet. Never walk barefoot and avoid sitting with your legs crossed. It is important to check your feet on a daily basis, and regularly trim your nails to a comfortable length. Manage stress. Stress can negatively affect insulin levels and make it hard to manage blood glucose levels. When you're stressed, the stress hormones epinephrine and cortisol kick in, which raise blood sugar levels. Activities such as yoga, meditation, or spending time with loved ones can help to reduce stress levels. Sleep well. Diabetics often have poor sleeping patterns, and this can make their blood glucose levels harder to control. To improve sleep quality, go to bed and wake up at the same time every day. Your bedroom should be cool, dark, and quiet. Avoid electronics and bright lights, as these can disrupt sleep. Caffeine and alcohol can interfere with sleep, so it's best to avoid them before bedtime. In conclusion, treatment and healing of diabetes requires daily care and attention. 
We hope the tips in this video help you manage blood sugar and beat diabetes. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video.